you start your bicycle ride at the top of a hill. You coast down the hill at a constant acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. When you get to the bottom of the hill, you are moving at 18 meters per second and you pedal to maintain that, uh, that speed. If you continue at this speed for one minute, how far will you have gone from the time you left the hilltop? Well, let A is your acceleration during your coasting down the hill meters per second squared. When you reach the bottom of your hill, your velocity, your speed is 18 meters per second. You pedal for one minute to maintain this speed. T equals one One minute, two significant digits. How far will you have gone from the time you left the hilltop? Let the distance is S. Here, the hill. This is a starting point. Here you reach the velocity, the speed of 18.0 meters per second, v. Initial velocity, v initial, equals zero. You start your coasting down. This is horizontal part of your ride, and you maintain the speed, v. For one minute, t. The acceleration during the coasting down is a. The whole distance consists of two parts. The first part, S1, is the part of uniformly accelerated motion from the state of rest at a, an acceleration a. The second part is uniform motion and distance is S2. So we can write S is S1 plus S2. For S1, we know initial velocity, final velocity, and acceleration. You can use the formula S equals V squared minus V initial squared divided by two accelerations. V initial equals zero. So we can write S1 is V squared over 2A. The second part is the part of uniform motion. So S2, we know that because of your pedaling you maintain the speed v for time t. So let's add these distances and have s equals v squared over 2a plus v times t. Now take the common factor of the brackets and Finally, S equals V, common factor, times V over 2A plus T. This is our final 
formula. Let's substitute numbers. S equals V 18 meters per second times 18 meters per second times 2 times 2 meters per second squared plus 1 minute 1 minute is 60 seconds 60 seconds so meters per second squared partly dividing out here we have seconds here we have seconds they are dividing out with these seconds and finally we have meters equals 18 meters times here 4.5 plus 60 18 times 4.5 plus 60 gives 1161 meter. But here we have three significant digits, three significant digits the same number of significant digits. So we must round it to three significant digits and write 1100 60. This is 6. 1 thousand one hundred and sixty meters. The problem is solved.